COVID-19 soon was to show. It started in Wuhan and quickly it spread. Many people had to take to the bed. Next came homeschooling, which wasn't much fun. We asked ourselves, would this ever be done? At last came summer and camping we went off to Glengariff in our brand new tent. September came round and we went back to school. We were happy as well to jump in the pool. However, this wasn't to last for long because lockdown too caused it all to go wrong. Restricted once more within our 5k, we asked ourselves, when would this thing go away? Then, then the, the best, best news ever arrived and, and life, life as we knew it will soon be revived. The vaccines bring hope and joy once more and hopefully life will be as before. I'm stuck inside and usually that's alright but now it's like my life is based on trying not to die I'm also trying not to cry it's not the virus I don't like it's being stuck inside I know it's trivial but I've been thinking about all the things that I didn't do when I was free to walk the streets But I have empathy for those who have it worse than me But still I've taken up new skill To get me by these awful times Don't tell me how to feel That's real I'm cooking every meal When it used to come on four wheels I'm stuck inside And usually that's alright But now it's like my life Is based on trying not to I'm also trying not to cry It's not the virus, I don't like it's being stuck inside Stuck at Home by Ellen Condon Stuck at home during COVID-19 No one to come, not even a flea Snakes and ladders is part of our routine it is a safe zone free of COVID-19. Homeschooling is a bore because I want to be in school a lot more. Thank God we're all healthy, though in the summer when we were hot and we were feeling, feeling very melty, we wanted to go to the beach a lot. We could not go because of lockdown. So I will hope and hope but until then, we've got to cope, being stuck at home during COVID-19. Welcome to the Six Gun News, live from Tipperary, with me, Bay Alice O'Connor. Speaking with Sarah Gilbert earlier today from Oxford University, she was positive on success of the COVID-19 vaccine. Sarah advised she was currently working with her team to develop the next batch of the COVID-19 vaccine, which will be effective on the latest COVID-19 variants. These will be rolled out on September 2021. Finally tonight on the 6-1 News, spring brings hope to a pandemic. With the arrival of 16 new cats at Rathcal Cashel Farm and 30 new lambs at Margaret Cross's Farm Windmill Cashel. This has provided great excitement for the local children 
who have been able to visit the new arrivals. That's all from me. They are so Connor. Stay safe and have a pleasant evening. poem it's called COVID Academy. I'll start out with numbers on Friday 13. The world had closed down due to COVID-19. They told us it came from China and bats which aren't any more glamorous than mosquitoes or rats. They told us to be careful of this serious pandemic. It scared around the world and the fear was endemic. The government sent out their head analyzer who advised us to use lots of hand sanitizer. Keep two meters back, your face don't expose, transmitted through mouth, your eyes or your nose. All over the country, all over the land, we all became skillful at washing our hand. We'd all go for walks and all through the town, not a sinner to be seen because of lockdown. The man on the telly, a chief health advisor, told of covering faces with a mask or face visor. Our normal life changed so quickly, so soon. The elderly told that they had to cocoon, couldn't meet up for chats to add to their troubles while the rest of us lived out our lives in our bubbles. We all became techie amidst all the gloom, logging onto FaceTime, Seesaw and Zoom. The whole population were working from home, connecting to Firefox, Explorer or Chrome. But the end it is coming and the light can be seen, and we all will be cured with a magic vaccine. I'm excited and hopeful, each day say a prayer. I'll soon be back singing in the academy in care.